the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum, guys. This video is very, very urgent, guys. I've had to rush it quickly because I didn't even get a chance to color coordinate. I mean, look, green and blue. I mean, who does that? A slobber de gullion. Douche. <laughs> All right, listen to this, yeah. An Oxford University students group has voted to take down a picture of the Queen. No, God, please, no, no! You know what I'm saying? Do, do you see where the stress was coming from now? Do, do, do you understand? Can you relate with my frustration? Now, the university itself has defended the students, saying they, they voted for it and you know, they're taking it down. If they vote, if they vote for it again, they can put it back up. Yeah, it's uh, we, we encourage freedom of speech and uh, brilliant. Yeah, which of course makes sense. The students voted for it. Yeah, so that's British values. Yeah, that's democracy. That's freedom of expression. Uh, yes, yes, and yes, and that, yes, yes. Everybody should be happy as Larry. But no, the British public, especially the right wing British public, are not having any of it, mate. Yeah, because it's not what they've taken down. It's what it represents, mate. It's the council culture. That's right. It's the the history of the Brits, mate. No matter what's happened, it's the Queen. It's the monarchy. It's what the British Empire has done. So no, guys. These guys don't think it's just a picture. And because of that, I'll tell you what's been happening. Staff. Yes, right. Staff have been threatened. The taking down of the picture has been referred to as disrespectful. <laughs> there have even been calls of medieval styled imprisonment, courtesy of Piers Morgan. Even the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has chimed in very swiftly. I mean, he didn't do that when he was calling Muslim women letterboxes. Now nah, he took his time, mate, but this is important. They've taken down a picture in a university, mate. What, what, what is the world coming to? You know what I'm saying? What is the world coming to? But my question is, isn't it freedom of speech? Why are you getting excited? Yeah, is this not extremism? Mm -hmm. Should they not favor freedom of speech? Freedom to insult? Yeah, forget taking it down, chuck it in the bin. Yeah, draw a mustache on her and then burn it. You know what I'm saying? It's freedom of expression, freedom of mockery. But the very people, when as Muslims, yeah, we don't like the Prophet peace be upon him being depicted as somebody wearing a turban with a bomb in it. Yeah, being depicted as somebody that stood against the very things. Yeah, that you are accusing him of doing. We believe that he has been selected by God to come and be an embodiment of the Quran. And as a result, be a means for us to attain the pleasure of God. Yeah, so we have somebody to emulate and copy. So when we as Muslims get frustrated, we're told freedom of speech, democracy. You know what I'm saying? Freedom to insult. But hang on a minute. Why do you throw these labels? Yeah, and make it rain on us. But when these very labels come to you, uh, we don't hear. We, we don't hear of them. Yeah, they're not part of the discussion. Now, rather than getting frustrated over a picture, yeah. You should be frustrated over the fact that the Queen and Prince Charles have vetted over a thousand laws that have passed, that have been passed through Parliament, even requesting the change of some of them. I mean, what democracy is this? And what democracy is this? But no, no, we're not going to hear about this because this goes against the uh, the established order. Because this goes against the paradigm. Yes, this goes against what has been decided for us by the upper ups to keep us on a leash and in control. Hypocrisy be thy name. So next time you start coming to me about freedom of speech and democracy and that sort of stuff, why don't you guys look up in the bar, maybe junk is there a Look in yourselves. Yeah, look at what you're doing yourself before coming and labeling me with all these labels that you don't even accept and apply to your own dealings and doings as well. Let's leave it there, guys. Just wanted to highlight this uh, hypocrisy, frankly. Yeah, this ridiculous hypocrisy. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.